Joining the show is the General Manager, Lagos State Parks and Garden Agency, Adetun Ibilola Kukola. She will be discussing the state's plan for recreational parks at this festive period and even beyond. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank Before you Before we much. go into your conversation, we have to wrap up our initial discussion. Let me come to you, talk where you're, you're going to add something before we wrap up on that. Yes, I was going to add that at the end of the day, we must live with love. Mm. We must be kind to one another. Yes. Even if they wrote your name in the will mm. and say you should take everything, don't ignore your relatives. Mm. You know, don't ignore your siblings. Mm. Even if your, the parents die very early and the children are small, they cannot handle anything, and you are the brother or younger brother of the father or you are a family member, don't mismanage the properties. Let's lead with kindness and lead with love. And every issue can be resolved if we are truly um, leading our our emotional right. decisions, our decisions with kindness and love. We'll continue Absolutely. to revisit this topic because, mm. as I say, it's a mm. continuous conversation. Sure. But I'd like to end with two things that I've heard on this table. First, from, from um, Obia Julu, but she said that when you enable people to be entitled, mm -hmm. no, I think, oh my God. Yes. And don't enable people to be entitled and then start complaining that of their entitlement. Mm -hmm. so you have enabled the entitlement mm -hmm. in the first place mm -hmm. and we must cut it in the bud. It's like nipping in the bud from childhood. And Tokba said something really very, very profound. He said, never plan your life. Uh, other people's is... sweat or wealth, mm. which I think is profound. Mm -hmm. I think we can end with that on this segment. Welcome again to our show. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good to have you. Thank you. Didn't think want to add to this matter. Well, she goes straight to the official. Um, I'll leave it to you thoughts? guys. I'll show you guys how to crash the topic very well. So the parks and gardens are open to public. This is the holidays. Everybody wants to celebrate, have a party. In fact, I must, I must tell you, one of my guys wanted to use the park. When they're not charging money, it's, ah, this is not part of the park. <laughs> so what exactly... Um, how are they available and um, if they're available, how do we access them? Okay, so the parks are available to the public. They're actually public recreational parks and gardens. Um, of course, we make some revenue from the usage of the parks to maintain the parks. Okay. Um, for, but normally on a, daily, on a daily basis, anybody walks into the park is free to use from zero, 1 to 10 people. Once you become a group of 10 and above, you pay, and it's a small token of 500 naira each um, for to access the park. Yeah. And you can have picnics, you can have birthday parties, bridal showers. We have all sorts of events at the park. For this festive season, in fact, our park in Murakola VI is booked for the entire season. Mm. All wow. the weekends in December are booked. Wow. Um, people have events, large events, and a lot of people. I, I guess since COVID, you know, started having, you know, getting used to having outdoor events because of, you remember, there were COVID restrictions for indoor activities and all of that. So people turn to outdoor events. And so we have our um, parks booked back to back. In uh, Oregon Park, which was um, vandalized during the um, NSAS thing, yeah. um, was um, recently reopened. And we've been having events as well. It's also booked back to back. In fact, last week, Saturday, we had an event for children called mm. Creative Gardening for Kids. The kids had so much fun. It was last park they organized that event. They had painting, they had... We taught them how to plant. And we believe that, you know, environmental education starts from when they are young. And so that was an opportunity for us to call a group of 50 children together and basically just teach them the rudiments of planting and encourage them to plant. So the parks are accessible to everybody mm. and anybody because they are public. So public, I, just, um, I just heard uh, now that <laughs> until you're up to 10, you have free use of the yes, park. Yes, absolutely. Before the, as you are parking, there's a particular park not far from here that I will not mention. <laughs> as you are entering on certain days, and that, that, the, I think it was during the week this particular time, there's a guy moving around asking you to show something for pay, paying. If, if it's, um, okay, so sometimes during the festive periods, mm -hmm. we have partnerships with some other organizations who also organize events in the parks. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there might be paid events in the parks, oh, but on a normal okay. day outside of the festive period, walk into the park. I just want to come and sit down and mind my business. Oh, yes, absolutely. People come into the park to read, to do their homework. People just come there to relax. People come with their kids, even after school. And it's absolutely free to access the park, as long as you're, you're below 10, a group of 10. Yeah, so uh, recently I wanted to do like a pop-up shop yeah. at the park, and the deal they gave me for one day. I just pulled my slippers, put it on my head, and I ran. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah. um, I'll say... Compared to other event spaces in Lagos, our parks are actually very, very reasonable, reasonably mm -hmm. priced. Yes, absolutely. 
If you compare... Is there any way you can make it more reasonable? Because well, I don't want to mention the fee possible? Is it possible we can have a website so that it's uniform? Because yes, you can get a different price, somebody gets a different price. So no, we know. Actually, no, the prices are actually uniform. We have a website and the prices are published there. Okay. Oh. okay. In fact, the prices are published. It, the website is a dedicated portal for booking. It's called um, www.lastparklagos.gov.ng. Okay. And you can go in there, pick whichever park you want. You read about the history of the park. You can... Um, Pick the part of the park. So you may not want the entire park. Right. Mm. You may just want a section of the park. You can pick the different sections in the park that you want. And it tells you exactly how much how it much costs. It so you, you won't go there and then somebody tells you a different price. Mm. Because yeah. it's actually, you know, they're yeah. available. Yeah. And even when people write to us and request to use the park, we respond to them in writing with the cost of the park. So, so in, in case of emergency, are there ways, how, how safe are these parks for people? So um, when we have large events or anybody else has large events, part of the requirement is that they must get um, a safety permit from the Lagos State Safety Commission. And so the Lagos Saf Safety Commission itemizes the things that are required for them to have before the event happens. The, the Safety Commission even sends safety marshals to the park to, to just basically observe how they're setting up, how strong their stage is and stuff like that. They also mandate that, for example, there must be an ambulance on site at any given time. Mm -hmm. Once there's a, an event, more than a certain number of people. In our Oregon Park, for example, we have a sick bay where we have a nurse that sits there. So if any you know, children are playing around and then there's any slight injury, we immediately treat them, you know, just give them some first aid. And then we have a very good relationship with the Ministry of Health. So even when there are any emergencies, we immediately evacuate the people and take them to the nearest public health center. Mm. center. So I believe that, um, at least so far, we haven't had any incident. I'm maintained at this part because, I mean, there's, there's a park that was named after my dad, uh, Kabashore in Bagada. Yes. Uh, and the time I went there, it wasn't well managed. And I was wondering, so is it that some parks have been abandoned or are they, are they, like, are they the main parks? Or no, we don't, abandon, we don't abandon our park. But that particular park was actually handed over to the community. Oh. So the community is supposed to be responsible ah. for you take ensuring. It back <laughs> well, we, we, it can, we can look into yeah. it. Um, and I've, I actually had this conversation with someone two days ago, actually. Right. And um, we, I've asked people to go there. Um, and they're going to go there and give us a report on actually That's what's, what's happening what there. About. <laughs> and then and then we'll see and then we'll, we'll decide what to do from Just don't change the name, well, please. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, Lego, it's yeah, a legacy yeah, park. We will change the yes, name. So the names, before we name the parks, they're very carefully thought through. Yeah. And they're people that have contributed immensely to the growth of Lagos right, State. Right. So mm -hmm. we won't just wake up and change the name of the park. Yeah. So a double-edged question. Yeah. Um, on one hand, since you've rented out a lot of these our parks, are there any parks that are still free for regular negotiations to show up if they are, if you said some of the sparks have already been rented for the season and that means that the average nigerian that doesn't want to attend any event who just wants to enjoy going to a park are there any free parks available for them one number two i've always had issues with the fencing of the parks because i feel like it's counterproductive and very expensive because you spend money fencing the park the people that you're fencing out will tear down the park. Mm -hmm. And after like a few months, you'll fence again. Maybe a, few, a year, you'll fence it again. So we're spending money refencing a park that it should be open to the people, you know. So okay, I'm just so let me answer your questions. second question first. So um, we, don't, we don't, if you notice, the kind of fencing we do in our parks is actually see-through. You can actually see through mm -hmm. the, the, from the road to the park. Mm -hmm. um, so... It, the fencing is not to block people out. It's actually just to be able to create some sort of security around it because you cannot have security officers at the entrance to the park and then everywhere else is porous. Mm. So the fencing that you see there is to protect the people that are inside the park. Um, but they're usually very see-through parks. So even someone standing outside can see what's see. going on and you can actually, you want to go in right. there to experience what is happening at the park. Um, and secondly, the parks are actually still access accessible to everybody. However, what I mentioned was that there are some events on some days. They're fully booked in terms of weekends. Yeah. So there are events back to back in most of the parks. However, during the week, you can still walk in at any so time. If, just so we're clear, if you and I want to go to the park, we can just go in, enter right now. Nobody will stop us. Nobody's if we want to have a party, an yes. event, yes. that's when we need to go through the website, yes, get the costing, exactly. and get the details. Absolutely. Yeah.